hello and welcome again in previous lecture we configured the nick and ip resources for our service group in this lecture we will finish adding up the remaining resources now we have our disk group and mount resources pending let's start adding them one by one first we will make sure our configuration file is in a writable mode so we will do haconf space dash make rw it's already in a writable mode then we will add a new resource called dg1 so h-a-r-e-s space dash add space the name of the resource we will call it disk group 1 and then we will type its type which is disk group this resource will belong to our ha share service group once the group is added we will modify its parameters to make sure it belongs to disk group dg1 as well so we will type h-a-r-e-s space dash modify space dg1 space disk group and then the disk group name dg1 next we will add the mount resource we will type h-a-r-e-s space dash add and the name of the resource which we will keep h-a share dash mount space the type of this resource will be mount space it will belong to ha share service group let's modify its required attributes to make sure the resource comes online along with its required attributes we will type h-a-r-e-s space dash modify space h-a share dash mount space first attribute we want to define is the mount point so we will say mount point space the location where this resource will be mounted we have already created a directory under root called ha share underscore mount i will press enter next we will do h-a-r-e-s space dash modify here we will modify the mount resource again but we will provide the block device the block device is what we created earlier using the veritas volume manager so here we have forward slash dev slash vx forward slash dsk then the disk then the disk resource group forward slash our logical volume next parameter which is required we have to supply the file check options so we will say h-a-r-e-s space dash modify name of the mount resource then f-s-c-k o-p-t here we will say double quotation percent dash y double quotation closed and press enter key last attribute we have to define is the file system type for this mount so we will say h-a-r-e-s modify ha share dash mount and then the fs type which will be vxfs press enter mount and disk group resources are created we have to define the dependency so our mount point depends on the disk resource we will create a dependency with hares command space dash link space ha share dash mount space the disk group which is dg1 and then press enter key let's save the changes in our configuration file dump space dash make r o now let's list our resources we can type h-a-r-e-s space dash list here our newly configured resources are showing our service group is still offline we have to bring it online let's first make our configuration file writable again with haconf space dash make rw press enter now we will bring all resources online in our service group we will type h-a-g-r-p space dash enable resources space service group name h-a share next we will bring online our mount resource so we will type h-a-r-e-s space dash online space h-a share dash mount space s-y-s space server name which is server one press enter now let's save our configuration file so we will do haconf space dash make ro now let's verify the status of our cluster we will type ha status space dash sum and then press the enter key here we can see our ha share is available and online on server one we have configured a mount point for our web administrators so let's see if that is mounted as well we can type df space dash h capital t and then press the enter key the dash h in the parameter shows human readable numbers and then t shows the type of the mount point 
Here at the bottom, you can see that we have the VXFS type file system, which is of 2 GB of size, is mounted on root HA share underscore MNT mount point, which we created. In the next lecture, we will do a failover or switch over for this resource. We'll see you in the next lecture then.